G'day, welcome back to the channel. You're tuned into the Pedal Picassos again. If it's your first time, thanks for doing so. Hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. I'm gonna show all the drives in the new X Trident uh, guitar multi-effects processor. Previous video, I've done all the presets, I've done all of the amps, the 27 amps in it, and now I'm gonna show all the drives. Um, I'm using the screen here uh, to uh, show the software where you can uh, deep dive and edit. You can easily edit on the, uh, the on the machine as well, on the unit, on the machine. Um, and when you do, uh, everything you do on the hardware is reflected on the software. So it's a mirror. Um, no, uh, no prizes for guessing. Yes, a TS9 Tube Screamer. So I'll turn him off and I'll just show, um, I'm going through a deluxe reverb emulation here. Humbucker. I'm fairly clean and um, just a nice platform to, to demonstrate these drives. You're right. As I said, you can go to uh, the hardware itself, select what parameter you want to um, edit. Here is my boost. This is where you'll find all of the um, options for your boosts and drives. And if I come in with my left hand on here, you'll see the screen as well um, on the hardware. And you can see the screen on the software also changing. So I'll go back to the very first drive, which is a Katana Clean Boost, and it's not engaged. Uh, this is the amp itself. And there is the boost engaged. So I'll go back to single coil. To edit the actual parameter, uh, you can select which parameter you're adjusting, and here it is, it's just one knob gain. Right. How much boost do you want? How much for that push over the edge? Might be good just to push the front end of a Marshall. I'll, I'll try a Marshall emulation in a second. Um, in fact, I'll try it right now. Let's try uh, uh, a 1987 50 watt Marshall. Boost is off. And let's put the boost on. You got that real squish as it's um, punching the front end. I'll go back to the um, uh, our deluxe, um, our deluxe reverb, and then we'll go back to our katana. And turn him on. So that's just the katana. All right, let's try our next option, which uh, is another another boost variant. There's there's the white version of the AC booster and the yellow version. Two different uh, levels of gain. On the fly, you can grab controls. That's good too. All right, yellow boost. Two slightly different colors, maybe, maybe. And here's our TS9.
So taking your deluxe reverb, fairly clean machine, and turning it into a gnarly beast. I like that. I like that as a TS9 emulation. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, our, our blue driver. Okay. Let's let's wind the gain down and just get something a little bit crispy, clean. Wind the gain down a bit more. Let's uh, see the amp itself. There is a little bit of um, clip on the amp already, especially when I'm in humbucking mode and I'm pushing the front end of that amp. Single coil mode on my neck pickup. Humbucking. Humbucking mode on the bridge. It's a neat tone. Blues driver. right -o. What have we got next? Okay. Hmm. Morning glory. Glorious morning. Blues breaker style. Um, I love my blues breakers. <laughs> and I know how they how they react to your guitar, how they're supposed to react to your guitar and how they're supposed to feel. Um Now, a standard blues breaker, a Marshall blues breaker, an original one, they're very low gain when you've got them set to, all the controls set to noon, right? Um, this is not quite in that, in that sort of realm. Um, although, Having said that, I've just put um, all my control. I'll put all my controls at fifty um, because I can do that with the hardware, which is halfway. Right, this is halfway, exactly halfway. And that's what a blues breaker does. If you've got your control set at halfway and you engage it, it sounds like a lifeless turd. But the magic happens when you start to bring up your drive and and your level. very responsive drive that um, doesn't mess with your sound too much at all and can clean up very much so when you're rolling back your the volume on your guitar. And there's a, 
there's a really sweet spot for single coils and a really sweet spot for humbucker. <laughs> And that's taking that deluxe reverb tone. And turning it into a fairly nasty, gnarly Marshall tone. Yeah, I like that. I like what they've done in trying to emulate the, um, the blues drive in the morning glory. And here's a dirt drive. Difference in tone, difference in compression as well. There's a very rock, rock in a box tone, that one. And that's it for all the drives. So that's all the drives you have it scanning through. Boom, one, two, three, blink and you miss them. Um, the Katana, the AC booster in white and yellow, the TS9, the Blues Driver, Morning Glory, and the Dirt Drive. Uh, they're, they're all very, very cool. Um, New X have done very well with the Trident and giving you these options as well as 27 amps. You can find uh, any, any combination of, of drive that you like. Um, with the combinations of these drive pedals and boosts into all of the 27 amplifiers that you got there. Um, if you can't, I'll go hey. Hey, thanks very much for, for tuning in. Drop us a line and let us know if you've got one of these and you're exploring it with the, um, with the software. And I'll see you again next time, hey?